Hey what's up YouTube, this is Computer Guy and welcome to part 2 of my Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, while you're gone I made some changes to the sea. Well I changed it into like a tub of water just because it's easier to do so you don't have to worry about the edges and stuff and also it looks a bit better when the water is pouring in. Look, I'll show you. It looks a bit better. Alright so we're just going to get started. So you want to make a new document for now. This is just so we don't have to fiddle with all the moving and stuff later on and it's just easier to see. So you'll just want to create five spheres and you'll just do that by creating one, pressing control C and just pasting it four times. You want to highlight all of them. One second. Highlight all of them. And you want to scale them down to about that size. And then you're going to spread each each one outwards from where it was now. So it's like any uh, shape of like a diamond, if you know what I mean. Like, so you have to spread them out one by one like this you get what I mean so I'll just quickly speed it up alright so there we have it I'm just going to go back onto perspective and there you go for now so you want to go up to where this emitter is oh sorry no this bit and you want to go to meter ball here and you want to group your spheres so right click group objects and you want to drag this under the meter ball and as you can see it's already grouped them up into some liquid sort of shape obviously you're going to have to hypernerve it and that makes it all smooth so you might want to fiddle around and drag them in a bit but I'm not going to do that for now so there you have it so you just want to copy that and you want to go back to your original document alright to get started you want to make a sphere and you want that to make that radius about 50 and just leave it as that so you want to make an emitter and you want to drag your emitter to like how you want the water to come out of like the jet or whatever so I'm just going to drag it to the edge and we're just going to rotate it down so it ends up falling down like that alright so we're just going to drag the sphere as a child of the emitter and if I play that and click show object it just shows how the balls just sort of hover in midair and just blob like that it doesn't look like water yet that's where meter balls comes in you just get the meter ball and you want to drag the emitter as a child of the meter ball and as you can see it's already kind of looking a bit water like but it's kind of blocking up but you can sort that out by changing a few emitter se settings like the speed and the lifetime so change that to about 300 maybe and lifetime to about 100 I don't know and just press play it's not as bad but you can fiddle around with some settings so now you want to add a gravity object that's in the same part as the emitter except you have to hold down and you get the menu and you just drag the m you don't need to drag the meter ball I'm sorry and that just applies gravity and makes it fall down like that so you want to apply like a texture to that maybe the same texture as the water you had although I recommend making it a bit lighter because it's illuminated by the sun all around unlike that pool so you want to make a texture that's slightly lighter than your watercolour and you're just going to drag that onto your meter ball or emitter or the sphere and if I hit render 
No way, I dragged the texture on the wrong thing. Meter ball, sorry, drag it on the meter ball. And if I hit render now, it kind of looks like the water is dripping into the pool. And once it's rendered, it looks really good. Once it's in full frame. You can mess around with a few things to make it look like it's splashing, but I'll do another tutorial on that some other time because this was just the water jet tutorial. I'm sure you could move around the emitter or something to make it look like it's coming out of a waterfall, but you get the point. So that's that for this tutorial and thanks for watching. The competition info is still in this video. It doesn't it hasn't stopped yet. So you can still um do the competition and it won't make a difference so thanks for watching and goodbye